Separation. January 9, 2016. As you move through this time, we will occasionally address topics that many of you will need to resolve. You are well aware that you seem to live in separation from our dimensions. You certainly are aware that you seem to live in separation from divinity. And there is much to discuss regarding that misconception. However, at this time we would speak of an issue that is closely related to, and in many ways stems from, that apparent separateness. The subject we will speak of today is abandonment. We will not say that many of you suffer from issues around the feeling of abandonment. We will say that, to some degree, it is an issue for all of you unless you have discovered it and cleared it already. Now, let us begin by stating that such a thing is not real, not true, and is absolutely a result of the illusion that you have been living in. Not only are you not abandoned, but you never have been. It is an impossibility. We could discuss the impossibility and the many reasons for the illusion for quite a while, but that is not what we wish to do right now. What we wish to point out today is that, until you recognize that issue and address it, you will find it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to allow yourselves to believe many truths and live a life in those truths. Now, lest we be misunderstood, we are talking about a belief that you have been abandoned by your Creator. All other forms of this issue, for instance having been abandoned by another person, are manifestations of this core belief. If you believe you are abandoned by your deity, or that you deserve to be, also never true, you will in some way outpicture that, until you resolve it. This is not a punishment for thinking so, it is an indicator that there is a very serious lesson to be learned. So, where are we going with this? We would suggest that you look deeply at the life you are in, to see if there are or have been feelings or situations that indicate that there may be an unconscious belief that you have been abandoned by, or are unworthy of, the love and acceptance of whatever you choose to call the divine. If and when you are able to find this within yourself, then you need to come to the understanding that since you are obviously an integral part of something we will call the all that is, you cannot possibly be separated from it then you must realize that this source could no more abandon you than you could abandon your own child. In fact, since you all are familiar with the concept, God is love, it should be apparent that the impossibility we speak of is quite real. Now, there is certainly what seems to be separation in your experience. That is something that you have allowed yourselves to accept for a great many reasons. For a huge number of you now, that is history. As a collective, you are now focusing on unity, unifying, and remembering. And we have placed that hyphenation in there with purpose. So do not dwell upon the why of it. Do not, most especially, allow any guilt for the past to arise, and if it does, quickly forgive yourself for it. You have had a long, long experience that will now serve as a lesson in what is not, and was never so. You are the prodigal son. The prodigal daughter. We must be ever careful with our language. We bring this up today, as we have said, just to help some of you clear things that are still impeding their forward movement. There will be other things to address at other times. But this one is very widespread still. If you are having difficulty addressing this yourself, please feel free to ask for help, and it will be forthcoming. We do not abandon you either. It is not possible for your guides and teachers to do so. You only need to be open to the help that is given. We thank you. Please accept our love and appreciation for the efforts you are making to move forward at this time. Know that we are always here. Channeled by Ron Head. RonHead.com